Moonbots is a junior league international robotics and science competition that simulates the Google X Prize and Lunar Exploration Challenges. It requires teams to design and create LEGO robots to accomplish missions and develop a research project about lunar exploration. Starting as a fun thing to try and turning into months of endless hard work, here's a look at Landroid's Moonbots journey. The idea of a junior Google X Prize competition was intriguing, but the timing conflicted with another one of our national science competitions called East Cyber Mission. Our team debated about the back-to-back -back deadlines and the fear of failing both. In the end, we jumped in and hoped for the best. We made a website as required by Moonbots called Lunar Landroids and used it as our engineering notebook to document our progress and post videos. To learn about the lunar exploration, we use sources such as documentary films, magazines, and websites. We learn about the history and future vision on the lunar missions and how it would be beneficial to have a new lunar expedition to advance technology and research. Why go to the moon? Space has always been an important part in human civilization. To make the video essay, everyone did a part of the research, script writing, and gathering of different pictures for the visual effect. I compiled the script, sorted the pictures into a PowerPoint, and we recorded the voiceover. To interest the audience, music was playing while a different picture showed for every sentence. One of Moonbot's requirements is to produce a robot design proposal using LEGO Digital Designer. I volunteered to specialize in LDD and render the ever-changing robot. Once robot designs stopped morphing, we all rushed to finish the renderings for the robot proposal. Submission of Moonbot's Phase 1 was pushed to the last hours. The video essay was done, but the robot proposal was still being drawn up, and a robot design summary was being edited. Immediately after the Phase 1 submission, we had three weeks to prepare for the National eCyber Mission competition in Baltimore. In the middle of this other competition, we were told that we made it into Phase 2. Hi, I'm Gage. My first day back on the team for Phase 2. There's a lot I have to catch up on. After the school year ended, our team parted ways for the summer. Working through Phase 2 during the summer presented a new challenge in team time. Each of us had summer school or camp, sports, and vacations at different times. Since the Moonbots field arrived three weeks late, we were grateful for the short break it gave us. We enjoyed the field building party, inviting old and new members to hang out. Setting this battle race to an exact position took a lot longer than anticipated. Early on, we envisioned a robot that could navigate with sensors, pick up any loop, and traverse around the field. We tested a total of six sensors, EOPD, ultrasound, gyro, compass, accelerometer, and IR link. The EOPD sensor was chosen to detect the moon rocks and ridges, ultrasound for wall aligning, and compass to know the robot's angle. By using Bluetooth to remote control the robot, we saved time testing different drive tree. For Phase 2, we built a robot which used most of the Phase 1 ideas. The robot had an arm to pick up the loops, and a rear wheel drive with two tank treads on the underside to go over the ridges, plus a basket. The first robot prototype was light and agile, but it could only pick up loops facing one direction. Since there was a possibility that the loops may be placed in any direction, a claw apparatus was developed. Starting with a single claw and growing to two, a large shell with a power function battery was added as a counterweight. The robot folded nicely in base, but when it expanded, it resembled a brontosaurus. However, in the end, we had to make a difficult decision to rebuild the robot. The only thing salvaged was the drivetrain. The final robot was similar to an early design with an arm that speared loops and dropped them into a hopper. Just when we thought we were making progress, a week before the deadline, the program got so big that NXCG crashed and we accidentally deleted all of the programs. Words cannot describe that moment. The next day, we switched to the unfamiliar land of LabVIEW and tried to recreate the program with tutorial at hand. If we have time, which we probably will, well, we, take a, we take a little break. Which we didn't meet our schedule, we were kind of behind, weren't we? We had limited equipment and skills when creating a Moonbot team documentary and there were very little special effects we can do with the Microsoft Movie Maker. We took lots of pictures of our robot and interviewed the team members about what they were working on. But putting everything in a logical order to meet the milestones we set for ourselves really tested our project management skills. Our Moonbot challenge was like a roller coaster ride. Being one of the finalists, that was great. But the back-to-back -back competition, the schedule, the summer hours, that made it really hard. Making the videos and the website, that was fun, and I learned a lot of new skills. But the hardest part was the field navigation. With no landmarks and just one try, it was like a real lunar mission. 
I feel like every competition we're in is just harder than the last one, but somehow, we always make it through. <laughs>